Well, hi there. Good evening. Mark Traversona here at Sat Magic, and we're live on a Friday. Yeah, it's a Friday. Uh, so I hope you've all having a good week, keeping uh, safe and um, secure in this uh, isolation that I'm having at the moment. I know we're allowed to get out and about a little bit more, which is great. And uh, tonight we've got a live for you on a couple of things. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about tonight is the Pips Matrix from uh, Jackie Yu. And uh, then we're going to be talking, and we've done a few lives actually in the past um, week, let's say, that's all been mentioned in this Tell the Truth um, remote control. And we've been featuring it with different things. So we've shown it with the, uh, with the Tell the Truth app, we've shown it you with Magical. And uh, tonight we're going to be uh, talking about the uh, T-Watch. So uh, yeah, that's what's coming up uh, this evening. I'm going to keep this one nice and tight. Still going to do a roundup as normal on Sunday. So uh, that should be Sunday 9 o'clock. Uh, as usual, uh, but it's a nice condensed one this evening. So good evening everyone that I can see there on the uh, on the live stream. So uh, we've got Steve said hi. If you're live say hi so that I can see that you're uh, see that you're actually there. Uh, Alright so we've got Steve, we've got Michael, uh, we've got Kenny, uh, we've got Roy, we've got Adrian and we've got Gordon as well. So uh, those are the guys I've seen there that said hi to me already. So uh, the PIPS matrix is uh, what we're going to be talking about first and um, as I just showed you it comes in this, uh, just fold it back up, it comes in like this pillow type uh, case, uh, um, cardboard sleeve uh, with it on the front there. Uh, the interesting thing is it says uh, diamond heart and others on the front there. All the ones that we've uh, actually uh, had have all been the heart version. So I don't know if there are actually different versions, so it might be a bit of a gamble what you get, but I'm going to have to clarify that. Uh, if you particularly want a heart version, then ask for a heart, and obviously we'll do our very, well, we'll ask the supplier to make sure we get, get hearts, because the next delivery actually isn't due in until Tuesday, uh, because we're actually on a bank holiday now, a bank holiday weekend, so we're, we're uh, officially shut on Monday. Uh, and that means we get no deliveries uh, from the Royal Mail or from DHL that bring in the international orders. Uh, so it means that any special orders that you placed are now not possibly going to get dispatched until um, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, just depends uh, what time they exactly get here with the bank holiday. So, uh, Pips Matrix, what is it? Um, let's change the view on the camera actually, so you can have a quick look at the uh, it's one of my favourite views, showing you the uh, Performer close-up map on its own without the case. Uh, as I mentioned the other day on the live, I've actually found that the top to the Performer case is a fantastic thing just to keep on your desk. Uh, so if you want to play around with something like this, uh, you can keep it on there um, when not in use. Um, because you don't want to get this dirty, you can just turn that upside down and uh, stand other stuff on it if you want but uh, no, that's the way I'm using it uh, now it's on my desk it's there so that's just the top for the performer case I uh, don't know if there's a demand for people just wanting those actually if you want just the top and you don't want the case uh, then get in touch we can supply those uh, so anyway the pips matrix you can see there you get four of these uh, hearts in this case uh, I'll give you a close-up of them they are uh, printed if you know what I mean uh, nothing wrong with it being uh, 3D, sorry, angle there, getting where the camera is. Uh, so they are printed um, and um, they, they're laid there sort of just like coins and you would do a coin matrix with them. Uh, the good thing about this, switch back to that view, the good thing with this is that uh, it's easy to do because you're not having, in a traditional sense, you could do a coin matrix with just with normal cards and coins, all the, all the hearts like that. You could handle it normally so if you do do a coin matrix, um, then you could handle those hearts as you would a coin. They're just a slightly different shape, so uh, you just have to maybe angle them slightly differently. So the foot, maybe they're on a bit of an angle so you can grab the edges properly. Uh, but you can still do a normal coin matrix with, the, um, with those hearts. So if you wanted to do it in a normal way, then you've got the hearts and you can do it. Uh, what they've added to this uh, is that they've gimmicked each heart and you get a little something in the set uh, that will help you uh, manipulate the hearts. So obviously we can't go too much into exposure, but hopefully that gives you a little bit of a clue. If you've got one of those well-known magician's pieces of jewellery that they would wear on their hand, 
uh, then you don't need to use the little gimmick that they give you to uh, help you uh, do the trick. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys that know about those. Um, but if you haven't got one of those bits of jewellery that a lot of magicians have got, then you do get what you need in the package uh, to be able to do it. And I thought it was quite nice actually, the stuff that they give you uh, to enable you to do the trick multiple times, in fact lots and lots of times, uh, with what they give you. And I thought it was quite nice actually, the way it was actually uh, put in the package, which obviously I can't go too much into that, uh, but good little package, everything that you need. You also get the playing cards. I don't know why I'm picking playing cards up to show you. They are just playing cards. Uh, so you get some uh, playing cards. Uh, it doesn't matter what colour they are because you're doing a matrix uh, thing. And um, the effect is, is that you do the matrix and uh, at the end um, you show all the cards a blank uh, to start with, uh, which can be done in numerous ways. Um, and um, so you show all the cards a blank and uh, at the end I can't even find it now, where is it? Uh, you've got a four of hearts because you've made the four hearts disappear and they've all come onto the playing card. Now, I did think, and I am actually going to upload one of our Saturn Magic bonus pages because I came up with an extra idea uh, just using two hearts and uh, blank playing cards and um, two cards. Uh, you can say to the audience, to, we've got two cards and two hearts. Uh, for a really uh, safe version, you can make the hearts disappear off your hand and then you can put the two cards face to face in uh, the spectator's hand. Um, so the, imagine the bride and the groom or the couple could sandwich them like this. Uh, and when they lift up, um, one of the cards is blank and the other one is the two of hearts. So um, I thought that would make a nice little trick for a couple. And if you've written on the special occasion, the date, Best wishes from whoever. It's a nice little souvenir to give to the person whose wedding or party or whatever that it is. So I just thought a different little take on it uh, rather than just doing the coin matrix sort of on a table as they show you. Uh, in fact, the coin matrix is not quite just on the table. If you look at the trailer, he does some of it on the table and some of it on his hand. So um, I quite like it the way the guys, uh, you know, put his different touches on what is, you know, a classic routine and quite a nice surprise at the end when everything disappears because normally with the coin matrix the coins move around the pad and then sort of disappear and come back in one place um, whereas with this uh, they all disappear and then you've got them on the card which I thought was a real nice uh, real nice touch so um, anything else I can say about it how difficult is it uh, if you've never done a coin matrix before and you want to do it the normal coin matrix way if you're using the gimmick thing or the magician's piece of jewelry that I was on about you'll pick it up reasonably uh, reasonably quickly. It's not one of those, get it out of the box and do it five minutes later. In fact, you'll be able to do it five minutes later, uh, but you won't be doing it smooth five minutes later. So it's one of those tricks to do it as shown in the trailer. Uh, you'll want to you know, probably practice it for a few hours, I would say, you know, nothing too much. It's not like it's going to take you two weeks. So you do it for a few hours and um, you know, you'd have it down and you'd be absolutely fine, got a nice trick. Um, my sort of little bonus version, uh, the way that I've been uh, doing that or practicing that, uh, you, you would, again, well not even a few hours, you'll be doing that within a few minutes if you want to do like the two of hearts version. So I'm going to upload a video and um, give you guys the, uh, the buy it from us, the uh, lowdown on what I think with the two of hearts version. Uh, so yeah, that's the Pips Matrix from um, <coughs> Jackie Yu, who I've not actually heard of before, uh, but if it's his first trick on the market, which I think it may be, uh, that's not actually a bad one to be coming in on, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what other little novel ideas this guy comes up with. So quite liking the uh, Pips Matrix from, uh, from Jackie Yu. Okay, I'll have a quick look down the uh, questions, uh, see if we have got some questions. Uh, so guys saying hello. Someone saying check your PM on Messenger. Uh, we we, uh, we do reply as quickly as we can. Um, we are obviously out of hours. It's 9.09 p.m. Um, so you know, it would be normal that we wouldn't respond until the next working day. Um, so um, you know, we, we do live and breathe magic, but we do have to have, have, to have the odd break. Uh, but yes, we'll have a look at the, we always do have a look and reply to our messages uh, just normally within working hours, which is Monday to Friday, uh, 10 till four. Um, 
Okay, okay, yeah, so that's all we, uh, what we got here. Wonder card was covered. Oh, yeah, so, so someone mentioning Wonder card there. Yes, we've done a, a separate live on Wonder card. Uh, if you go onto our website, uh, where let's just show you, go onto the website um, at the top, you see, you've got the spider there at the uh, at the top there where it says latest magic reviews. If I click on that. It will load up the uh, latest magic reviews. You can see that the uh, the last one that we did was on the 20th, I think it says there, uh, and that was uh, Incarnation by Mark Obron, which is sold out, and it's sold out everywhere. So there's none of those available now for about a month. Uh, you can see there we've got uh, another live we did on the 17th. They all say at the top there, as you can see. Uh, what's in them. Uh, sometimes we talk about some other little things, but they're the main features of, of what's in them. Uh, the Wonder Card, uh, so we talked about Mental Dice in that one. Just waiting for this to load up. Uh, we talked about Magic Hall and the Tell the Truth. Tell the Truth. Uh, itself whoops what have we lost there I'll move back to my view the uh, the iPads playing up a little bit there uh, but the uh, that's that's where you'll find it it was probably a video or two further down that from there you'll find the wonder card and I talk about that in particular uh, credit car is uh, back in I'm not too sure if it's actually back in stock but we've certainly got some more on the way in uh, so credit card is back available to order. That's the one where the credit card number is chosen off the credit card. You put the card in the spectator's pocket and then it changes to whatever the card is. In my case, the one I've got is the Queen of Hearts. So there's no numbers there, it just says the Queen of Hearts. Uh, so uh, that one's now available to order. And Wonder Card, we have still got some on the shelf over there. So yeah, we've got both actually in stock, ready to ship. Uh, so uh, if you're lucky actually I think we may be doing some posting tomorrow uh, but it won't actually go anywhere because it's the weekend so it won't actually start moving until Tuesday okie dokie uh, what tricks do I recommend for a virtual show uh, yeah, gosh I was talking to somebody today about um, about virtual magic and we said yeah that would be a great trick for a virtual magic show and I can't remember exactly what the trick was now for top of my head uh, but basically you can do because uh, I was saying it wouldn't matter if it was oh yeah that was it um, we were talking about um, Inferno by Joshua J uh, because all it is is a little matchbox that so takes up next to no room anyway and um, there's uh, two lots of gimmicks uh, included within each set and um, so there's a a very very easy learn it within an hour set of gimmicks uh, not even, maybe not even an hour you pick it if you know you probably pick it up quicker than that or there's a, a set of gimmicks included where you do need to need to learn a move but the great thing is is when you're doing um, the, the difference between the two is the one where you learn the move is fully examinable at the end and the one where you uh, can learn it within like less than an hour um, Again, you can display the card, you know, pre pretty normally, um, but you can't hand the card out, uh, and that means that uh, for a virtual audience, it doesn't matter. No one's going to ever look at the card, so uh, you can display it to the camera. Uh, everyone thinks it's free choice. Matchbox has been in view the whole time. So Inferno by Joshua J. It's less than twenty-five pounds, I think, from memory. When I was talking to somebody today about it, so Inferno by Joshua J. is a nice, cheap trick. Uh, great way of uh, selecting a card. Um, the theatrics of using a match or not using a match uh, personally when I do it I don't actually use a match but if you were doing it virtually then you can have a match and strike the match uh, to do like the burning effect with the cards so uh, yeah that's what we we're talking about today actually so yeah when you mentioned uh, virtual magic but uh, Inferno by Joshua J not just virtual uh, it's a great trick anyway uh, but the unexaminability factor of the really easy version uh, that some people do worry about is totally blown away and no worries if you're doing it virtually because no one's ever going to look at the card anyway so yeah there's uh, just one off the top of my head oh my cool you got your silk trick great hey that got there pretty quick 
Uh, Michael's talking about the bottles from Silk. <laughs> Here's me <laughs> going to do a short brief live. Uh, but yeah, we put the bottle uh, from Silk on the website, so glad you got it. It's a great trick, Michael. It's uh, fantastic and very, very fooling uh, for adults and children. So uh, yeah, great trick, uh, bottle from Silk. Okay, and we've got Caffrey uh, over there. So hi, just giving a shout out on, uh, on YouTube. We can see we've got watchers, but uh, we only see, the, see you if you're there, if you actually say something. Uh, so we can give you a shout out, hopefully, if you say that you're there. Uh, right, the um, next topic for tonight, let's just move these hearts off my pad. So the next topic for tonight is, let's get the camera view correct, uh, it's this little baby here. Um, we, uh, I know there's been all sorts of talks on forums and things about not calling it by its actual name, so we won't do that in a uh, sort of open video. Uh, but we've got a very well-known uh, watch uh, sitting here on the close-up pad. And um, the actual effect itself is that somebody names a time of the day. Uh, so if somebody could just put a time in the comment feed, I'll wait for someone to put a time on there. Obviously we've got the camera on the uh, on the watch so if someone can just name a random time of the day and we'll prove then as long as I can uh, operate the thing properly okay so Adrian's the first one in at 10 30 uh, so thank you very much uh, Adrian uh, so if I remember this um, correctly, well, that is a bit of an odd one to do actually, 10.30, so hopefully if I've done it right, what have I got there? 10.20, close, let's try again, uh, Roger's saying 9.10, yeah there we go, 9.10, I must have pushed the wrong button on the uh, first one, I don't actually do uh, this watch if that makes sense, uh, don't actually perform it myself, uh, but I was just showing how the uh, Tell the uh, tell the truth. There it is. A little tiny remote with the buttons uh, can actually operate the watch and input the time. So um, it's a very little tiny thing. You can keep it uh, hidden like that in quite easily in a finger palm and operate like this. And it works not only with uh, with that, but with the Magical app, with WikiTest, uh, with uh, Magical, the same Magical WikiTest uh, uh, Inject. Uh, good news is it actually works now with Android, uh, so the app that comes with it doesn't work with Android, but the uh, remote itself now it's configured with the new software. Uh, so if you've got an Android phone and you've got something that needs swipe inputs, uh, any of the apps or um, or whatever that, that use it, uh, then um, or even keyboard inputs, uh, so it'll do swipe or keyboard inputs. Uh, then you can get the Tell the Truth remote and it will work with it. Uh, what you need to do uh, with the remote control is um, configure it for Android. And to do that, apparently, I haven't got an Android, so I don't know, but apparently there's an app called Octopus, which is a key mapping app, uh, which you need to uh, tell the phone what the key pushes mean. Uh, so it's just a matter of setting it up. Uh, when it's set up on the iPhone, the iPhone has got a built-in uh, key mapping feature which is you are taught on the video uh, which um, tells you how to map it to your iPhone so either iPhone or Android you have to map it it's just that with uh, Android you have to have the extra app which someone told me it was about six dollars so it's not not expensive or there might even be some cheap ones on the market but I'm not sure not being an Android user and uh, so there you go uh, quick roundup on the pips matrix uh, quick uh, demo there of and proof that it works with the um, with the watch uh, and a quick look at the tell the truth remote there as well so 
Uh, Tony's saying, I've got a quick question there. Uh, is the remote durable because it looks quite fragile? Uh, the actual, uh, let me change to the uh, performer view again. If I move up here, it's not actually fragile. Um, you can see, there we go, got it in focus a bit there. Uh, it's uh, a lot of uh, magicians, magical items are covered in this very. Uh, it's like a sh it's not a sh it's like a rubber it is a shrink wrap um, but it's uh, like a rubberized coating so even though you might look at it and think oh that looks a uh, you know you, you think oh, d when you open it you don't exactly get that apple moment if you know what I mean it's not like you're opening up your shiny new iPhone you're getting like this bit of uh, rubber wrapped around a circuit board with a battery in there and whatever um, it's uh, I've had, had this ages and been using it ages and um, it's absolutely fine so it, it certainly does the job um, if it was in a casing it would be that much bigger because the casing would add quite a bit of length and depth to it and the ability to uh, sort of put it in the finger like that and just hide it just wouldn't be there if it was in a in a full-size casing so I can appreciate what you mean when you look at it you think uh, you know not exactly an apple moment but it's pure no one ever sees it anyway but as you can see it's it's very uh, very well protected uh, on off switch there and uh, that's where the battery slots in. Uh, the battery itself isn't uh, rechargeable. It's one of these pen cell batteries. Uh, but it's one of the ones if you go to like the, I wouldn't exactly say a pound shop, but if you go downtown in some of the, you know, like bargainy type shops or B&Ms and places, they do these cards of pen cell batteries. Um, and you get a whole range of pen cells, like three or four of each different type. And uh, the batteries for that. Uh, are uh, always amongst that selection so you can get three or four of them you know very cheap uh, or if you want to you can buy the Duracell or Energizer or whatever ones which obviously a little bit more um, but yes yeah, so I appreciate what you mean about the look of it um, but um, like I say no one ever sees it in use so it doesn't really matter the function and form that it is Roy saying there will order be sent by Royal Mail try tracking it says you can't till it's delivered yeah that's a strange thing that Royal Mail say actually about the deliveries um, they call it Royal Mail tracked um, and we sort of think as tracked of, as um, you know when it's posted you know it's been posted and then when it gets to the sorting centre you know and when it gets to your delivery office you know and then when it gets to you obviously it says that you've got it um, for some reason Royal Mail called tracked and it's a bit like the recorded delivery option that we've always uh, had before uh, Royal Mail have changed the system slightly um, so even with recorded delivery uh, recorded delivery was just that recorded delivery but what it used to do it used to tell you the posting place where it first went uh, and it would say it was a whatever office and then obviously when it gets to you it would say it's been signed so you'd never know in between exactly where it was now they're calling it tracked um, it's still doing exactly the same, well in fact it's doing a bit less because we do your dispatch notification and it tells you that it's been sent so that's um, the, the point that it's been um, manifested as they call it and then um, the tracking doesn't actually update until they try to deliver or they do deliver so the important thing about the tracking is to always check the tracking just to make sure that they haven't tried to deliver and you've missed it because then you'd either have to go to your post office or rearrange uh, re-delivery uh, because they don't always necessarily leave a card the postman so uh, it's always best to check the tracking if the thing's taking a little bit longer than you'd expect it to. Uh, in the current time actually the post is doing reasonably well at the moment I wouldn't like to say we're getting anywhere near back to normal uh, second class is still a, a bit slow people have been saying but uh, first class has been um, you know nowhere near as bad as it has been but I think that's very much regional it does depend where you live and how bad the staffing situation is in the uh, in the local post offices. But yeah, thankfully getting a lot, lot better. Um, oh, Caffrey's saying, what do you recommend a book DVD to learn card handling such as shuffles, uh, breaks and whatever? And I'm just trying to see if I've got my one here. And whenever I want to learn a new move, there we go, got it. Uh, I like this one. Uh, this is called The Toolbox, uh, the ultimate collection of card moves. Uh, if I put it up to see all the contents on the back there uh, there's a load of different uh, card moves there so Simon Lovell's toolbox six DVD set uh, teaches you loads and loads of shuffles and deals and all sorts of things so uh, yeah there we go that's a good recommendation there for you okay
just having a quick look down here. I think I've covered all the questions off. Just having a quick look up the list in case one popped in out of order that I didn't see. Oh yeah, the comedy horn, Michael. Um, the um, we, we didn't actually talk about it on the. Um, actually, no, I think you messaged about it and questioned the colour, but then you never actually asked for a colour. So I think you just got whatever random one actually came in. But the comedy horn, I've used one for absolutely years, and the first time I came across it was when Magic Dave did a lecture, and uh, he called it the birthday bugle, and um, he actually it's a little tip actually for um, when you get yours, Michael. Um, you say is it anybody's birthday and like some, hopefully the birthday kid sticks their hand up or someone else might stick their hand up if it is the birthday uh, and you go really it's your birthday and they go yeah and say no it's not your birthday and say yeah yeah it's my birthday oh really well I can prove it uh, because I've got the birthday bugle and uh, you say what it does it makes a noise if it's your, if it's your birthday it's, it's really clever uh, and they go yeah I go no no so it's not your birthday is it and the kid goes no so you just go over to the kid and you squeeze it over his head makes no noise go to another kid is it your birthday no squeeze it over the head um, go up to the uh, kid whose birthday it is squeeze it over their head honk get a big honk noise there you go see it's your birthday come on up um, so they come up to do their magic trick that you're doing with the birthday kid and you go this really really does work it does it's not it's because someone will say oh you've got a trick thing so no no uh, you have a go so you just uh, give the horn to a kid and he squeezes it doesn't make a noise um, you then take it back and um, pass it to the uh, birthday kid. You still have to be holding it, uh, but you can say, go on, you squeeze it. And they honk it, they honk it and it honks. So you go, yeah, birthday bugle, happy birthday. And then you carry on with the trick. So it's like a bit of business that you can use in various ways. Uh, or you can use it like a tells bell, uh, where tells bell uh, is, is really expensive and has been very hard to get, actually. It's been very, very uh, in very short supply. Uh, but that's a bell where you know you tell an audience member to ring the bell if they want to um, want you to stop or want you to do something. And of course, they're shaking the bell and it doesn't make a noise. And you go, "What's up with you?" And you take the bell back and it makes a noise. So it's in that kind of vein, uh, but a lot cheaper, uh, and especially for kids' parties. Uh, and you could use the the horn even for adults actually. If you uh, go, just give the horn a honk if you want me to stop or whatever, and use it exactly the same way as a towel's bell. Uh, so that's the comedy horn actually that we're referring to there that Michael was talking about by Uday, uh, which was uh, listed on the website uh, not so long ago. So it's, it'll be on like the first or the second page of the website, or just type in comedy horn at the top, or the link may well appear in the comments here for you. Okay. So what was going to be a very brief live has ended up going off in different directions. Uh, but there we go. We've covered the uh, Pips Matrix. We've covered the uh, Turner Watch and a few other things that you've asked questions on. Uh, so that's the joy of being able to do these lives and interact uh, at random. So uh, look out for the live on Sunday. Uh, we are starting to post the uh, upcoming lives on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, with the times so then you can click on the links that are in our emails or go on to Facebook or YouTube and click for a reminder so that you don't mix, miss them. Uh, as it's going to say in a minute when it pops up on the screen please give a like and a share to us and spread the word about Sat Magic Around it helps us and uh, you know the better we do the more we can do for you. So thanks again for watching this evening. Uh, take care everybody. I'll just line up the end screen with our, uh, with our, with our music. Uh, so take care everybody and I hope to see as many of you as possible on Sunday, 9pm, live.